guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet. It is simple, like so easy. So let's start. First, we're going to make our slip knot. But before, you need like a yarn ball, and you'll need a crochet hook. You could use any size, but the crochet hooks has to be like this. Okay, let's start. So first, we're going to go ahead and make a slip knot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take your finger and you're going to wrap the yarn around like this. So we're going to, no, so we're going to wrap it around like this. Then you see this, we're going to take it and you see how it's loose. We're just going to put it inside the hole. Just going to put it like that. And then if you take it off, see? Okay, next we're going to take your crochet hook and you're going to want to tighten it up like that. There, this is your first beginning step of crocheting. Now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take your yarn strap. So you, there's two modes. You can do it in the pencil mode or the knife mode. So the knife mode is how you hold it like a knife. And the pencil mode is how you hold it like a pencil like this. You can do it either like this. Or you can either do it like this. And clearly I do the pencil mode. I clearly do like the knife mode really. And also when you're starting to crochet like my way. You need to make the slip knot a little loose. There, now you're going to take your yarn strap, do it to the one that's connected to your yarn, and make sure not to do it on the tail. You're just going to wrap it around your pinky, and then wrap it around on your mommy finger. <laughs> now you're just going to want to hold the, the tail. Okay, so, I did something wrong. Okay, so I'm just going to restart this. I'm just going to make it like that. Okay, now I'll put my hook inside. There, now I'm just gonna wrap it around like this. I'm gonna wrap it around like this, then pull it up. Then you wanna hold the tail like this. Then you see your hook, you're gonna wrap it around. So what we call, when we wrap it around, we call it the yarn over. So we're gonna yarn over, pull through. But before we pull through, let's make this slip knot a little bit loose. Let's make the slip knot a little loose so that it can work. Okay, now let's do the same thing again. We're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over. Yarn over. So we're gonna make it a little bit loose to make the blanket. So, yarn over, okay, so we're gonna yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through. Okay, sometimes you can use our slip knot, but it's fine. Okay, so we're gonna yarn over again and pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over and pull through. There. So that's like that. That's how you make your stitch. And I'm gonna make it a little bit loose so that you guys can actually see the V shapes. Cause in crochet there's supposed to be a V shape. Comment down below if you want me to teach you like knitting next. So yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through. Ugh, I, I did the pull through wrong. I am, um, and just so you know, I've been practicing crochet for over one year, so I'm clearly an expert. Just sometimes you can lose your spot. Okay. You can also do wrap it around without the pinky, but clearly if you wrap it around the pinky, it stores more yarn and it makes it easier. So we yarn over. Pull through, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, huh? Hmm. Hmm. And you just keep doing that. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you had a great day, time practicing. Bye, guys.